Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Shelf 6 of my uh, Shelf to Shelf video collection. Uh, let's get on with it and show you what I got. So of course I have <laughs> the over overstock of films up here. So I've got uh, The Hand That Feeds the Dead. These are unfortunately not in any order right now. Uh, God, uh, Good Night, God Bless. It's a Priest Slasher. Up here we have Hitcher in the Dark. Vinegar Syndrome. And we have the uh, Fearless Vampire Killers, which is like a horror comedy. I try to keep my horror comedies in a different spot, but for this time around, I got up there. So, let's get on with some of the normal uh, side here. We have uh, Dead Teenagers. It's a shot on video um, anthology, which actually isn't bad. If you like shot on video movies, I think you might dig these. Uh, Dead Time, which is a... British rock and roll slasher film. It was okay. It wasn't really, I don't know, just it was okay. <laughs> the CGI blood was kind of stupid. Uh, Dead Tone, done by Flavor Flav's Night Tales. This actually was pretty neat. Bunch of prank callers, and of course, they called the wrong person at a party. The person decides to show up. Yep. Uh, Dead Zone by Stephen King. Can't wait for the Blu ray to come next month. Definitely will be upgrading that. Uh, Deadly Delivery. This is another shot on video um, slasher. <laughs> Deadly Daphne's Revenge. This was a trauma flick that got the Vinegar Syndrome release. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, Deadly Invasion. This is a killer B movie made for TV. Uh, very insane out of print. I was lucky to find one on Amazon for a super cheap copy. And I had to scoop that one up because it's a killer B movie. Uh, the Deadly Mantis, uh, Scream Factory, the radioactive monsters back then. So we got giant mantises. It's classic. Uh, Deadly Manor, which is an okay slasher. Uh, car breaks down. They find this house in the middle of the woods. They go in about this uh, actress who went crazy pretty much. Yeah, it's that bad. Uh, Deadly Playthings, another shot on video, which I need to get around to watch it at some point. Uh, the Deadly Spawn, love the Deadly Spawn. Never upgraded the Blu-ray at this time because uh, the Blu-ray was pretty bad, if I remember. But the DVD is great. It should be getting another Blu-ray soon. It's supposed to get a re-release, which I can't wait. Uh, Deadly Swarm, this one is a killer B movie. Uh, I think this one has Robert England in it. I, he was in one of them. I think he was in two. Two films. Uh, Deathbed. This is a different version of Deathbed. Uh, this one is by Stuart Gordon. About people who move into a uh, an apartment with this weird bed and uh, starts possessing someone. Uh, this one is called Death Dive. This is a Canadian slasher. Uh, about this... Uh, diver comes up from the murky depths to go after pieces of uh, his boat and whatnot. And he brings a horde of uh, aquatic zombies with him. It's really weird, but it's really cool. Definitely recommend it if you can find a copy. Uh, goth, uh, Death Factory and Goth, one of those weird uh, brain damage double features. Uh, death Machine, love me some Death Machine. Giant robot going around killing people in a business facility. Oops. Uh, Death of Me. This kind of reminded me of uh, Serpent in the Rainbow with uh, voodoo and everything going on. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun. A little thin one called Death's Door. There's a couple reviews. I did a review on this movie. Kind of cool flick about, you know, seances going wrong. There's supposed to be a fake seance, but the real shit happened. Uh, Death Court Service. Then we have uh, Death Court Service Part 2. And the third one, which is called Taste Me, Death Court Service Part 3. Uh, not for every type of slashers, but uh, they're crazy. Death Ship, awesome with George Kennedy. Uh, survivors find this ship in the middle of nowhere. They board it, and it's like a Nazi ship that's p haunted and possessed. And it starts killing off people. Pretty neat. 
Uh, death warmed up my Severn, which I had to get around to watching. Uh, the Deaths of Ian Stone. This is one of the After Dark Horror Fests. This is pretty neat, but someone keeps dying over and over again. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Death Watch. Cool uh, take on World... I think it was World War II? Uh, no, World War I. Uh, ghosts and shit. Pretty neat. Has to do with death and everything. Uh, decoys. Made for sci-fi channel movie. Uh, pretty cool. Invasion of... I got Body Snatchers type movie. And you have Decoys Part 2. The sequel. I'm going to try and get into the White House. <laughs> uh, deeper Dark. About a creature in a glory hole, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, deep Evil. This was pretty neat. Uh, monsters in water. And they're all liquid type creatures. Fun little creature feature. Uh, speaking of creature feature, we have Deep Space. It's another one of those alien ripoffs. Takes place on Earth, about this uh, satellite that crashes, but it's got an alien involved in it. Uh, a couple more here up on top. We have Holidays, cool anthology based on holidays. Uh, another one, House of Bones. It's another sci-fi channel flick about some paranormal investigators and discovering this house is alive. And it's basically made out of human bones. <clears throat> uh, we have uh, Deep Shock. Kind of weird, these aquatic like seahorse, sea uh, electric eels. Not the greatest, but it was okay. Deep Star 6, classic. I love Deep Star 6 for what it is. Death by Temptation. It's pretty cool. Uh, possession type film. Uh, the Deliberate uh, deliberate Stranger with Mark ha Hammond. Uh, Deliverance, I keep that in my collection. I think it's more of a backwoods horror movie than what it is. So, yeah, enough. Some people put it in their collection, some people will not. Everyone's different. Uh, delivery, this is a cool slasher. About a pizza delivery guy, he just loses his shit and starts killing those who have wronged him. Uh, Demented by Scream Factory. Uh, I could take it as like a slasher type deal. It's kind of neat. Woman goes crazy. Uh, Demented. This one is a uh, zombie flick. I bought it by accident because I thought it was this Demented. But, eh, for what it was, I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, Dementia 13. Uh, classic black and white film for sure. And then you have the remake, Dementia 13. I think which was a... Sci-Fi Channel remake. Okay, we have The Demon and Monster of Blood. Double feature. This is a oldies um, double feature. Mostly got it for both of them, actually. <laughs> then we have this one called The Demon. Uh, I don't know much about it. I found it at, a, at Soundgarden for super cheap. Some Asian weird uh, killer kid slash demon movie so yeah uh demon haunt oh boy uh the cgi in this is crazy like we just look at that thing right there but for what it is it's just a fun weird turn your brain off movie um yeah i got another one just like that coming up soon uh, up here we have uh gog in 3d cool killer robot flick and Severin, not uh, Severin, Vinegar Syndrome's Grave Secrets. Demons by Argento. Can't say anything bad about that one. Demons 2, yep. Then the weird Demons 3, also known as uh, the Ogre. Not really called Demons 3, but that's how it's labeled, so that's why I have it there. Whew, my arm is killing me. Switch it off. Uh, the Demon's Rook. This is a cool um, demon movie. Definitely recommend it. Uh, we have The Den. Which we still have to get around watching that one too. The Dentist. Yeah, slasher with a dentist. <laughs> Corbin Birdson. Pretty cool flick. And then of course you have the sequel to Dentist 2. I'd love to see those get a uh, double feature. Uh, the Depraved, which one I have not gotten around to watching. The Descent, Classic Descent. Uh, those cool 
creatures living in the the rock, the mountains, or in the the mine, or wherever they are. They went like splunking in a hole and the collapse, and they're trying to get out. And there's like a map of a mountain and shit. <laughs> All right, the Spizer. This is another one of those weird turn your brain off bad CGI'd uh, monster movies. Yeah, <laughs> just the cover alone. Despiza. Uh, Destination Inner Space. Cool creature from the Black Lagoon like knockoff. But not. Uh, Detention of the Dead. Yeah, it's like Breakfast Club and it was a zombie movie. Uh, the Devil uh, and the Shyamalan. Uh, the Devil Dow. Supposedly the first killer. I think the first killer Dow movie. Possibly. Don't quote me on that. Devil Fish. <laughs> this is awesome. Monster that's part shark, part dolphin, part octopus. Yeah. All fun. Uh, the Devil's Backbone. Classic. Del Toro. Then we have uh, The Devil's Business. This is pretty cool. Definitely recommend checking this out about a hitman. I think it's the wrong kind of hit. <laughs> I won't say much because I don't want to ruin that movie. I think I put that in the wrong spot, but oh well. Up here again, we have uh, Face of Fear. Gotta get around to watching that one. I just got last month. And we have uh, Getaway. It's a pretty cool slasher. Kind of like an independent slasher. Uh, the Devil's Den. This is kind of neat. Kind of reminded me of uh, From Dust Till Dawn, but with zombies. Or, I didn't know zombies. They were other kind of demons. Yeah, they were kind of demons. These kids were trying to get Spanish fly, have a party, and they walked up into the wrong strip club. <laughs> uh, the Devil's Gate. This is a pretty cool creature feature. Uh, this creature alien thing in the uh, basement. I'll put that up there for now. Alrighty. Uh, the Devil's Nightmare by Mundo Macabro. We have uh, The Devil's Pass. If I remember, this was a... I don't think it was a shot in video, but... I, got, I, I have to rewatch that. Kind of my brain has a brain fart on that one. Uh, the Devil's Playground. Which I got to get around to watching. Uh, the Devil's Reign. Classic, awesome goodness. Seven put out... Definitely recommend Devil's Reign. Uh, the Devil's Rejects. Yep, Rob Zombie. Man, doing this one hand is a bitch. Uh, the Devil's Revenge. It was okay. I like the creature that was in there. About a family that's cursed. And, of course, William Shatner's this asshole dad. <laughs> or he's like an asshole grandfather. That's what it was. Uh, the Devil Rides Out. Classic. Goodness. Love the Devil's Rides Out. Classic Hammer. Uh, the Devil's Rock. Insane. I upgraded that for sure. Uh, the Devil's Wedding Night. Another one I gotta get around to watching. I gotta switch hands here because... Alright, I'm bumping into things. Uh, we have Devour. Very young Jensen Eccles uh, flick. Uh, DiBQ. Another shot on video. About mutated meat turning people into uh, zombies. Up here we have uh, Dawn of the Beast. Pretty cool creature feature with uh, Bigfoot and the Wendigo. I'll throw that over there. And then we have uh, Legion of the Dead. <laughs> That's a fun killer zombie. Uh, not zombie. Mummy movie. I think it was like Asylum did it. Alright, that'd be cute. Back to this. Uh, Die Die Delta Pi. That's a cool low budget slasher. Uh, Die Monster Die. Classic. If you're familiar with, uh, again, uh, Color Out of uh, Color Out of Purple, Color Out of Space. Very, it's the original style. Uh, Dimension Occultus. <laughs> awesome Mexican horror. In there. Uh, the Dingleberries, uh, killer mutated space poop. Yep, it's a shot on video. Uh, 
pretty corny. Uh, Dino Croc from Sci-Fi Channel. Gotta love you some Dino Croc. And of course we have Dino Croc versus Super Gator. <laughs> just turn your brain off fun movies. I just love watching them. Uh, Dinosaurs, uh, killer dinosaur movie. I'm going to put this over here so I can get room to get these out. Uh, Dino Wolf, if you love gore and bad monster effects, this movie's awesome. I love it. Uh, we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that with this. Yeah, from... Uh, I'll put this up. Jesus. Uh, Iron Films. Yeah, that's all I got around watching. Uh, the Disco Exorcist actually wasn't bad for what it was. Uh, we have Disturbia. Uh, Disturbing Behavior, which I need to get the ever try to find the Blu ray. It's out of print. Uh, classic 90s uh, horror there. Kids getting brainwashed. And Divine Fury, which I need to get around watching. So, with that mess. That is shelf six, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below your thoughts on this. Um, sorry if there's any glare. I had the flash on. Makes it easier to see the, uh, the titles and everything. Again, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for more shelves. Later. Peace.